You know what guys, I'm really in a spooky mood tonight. Now, it's a Saturday afternoon for you guys, so if you guys want to watch this at night, that's fine, that's okay. <laughs> I know I'm recording this on Friday, no, okay. But we're reacting to a channel called Wansi Entertainment. Now, I have reacted to this channel before, if you guys saw some of my old videos. Um, we have reacted to Wansi before, but let's see how they're like in 2021. Let's see if anything is scary. Let's see some spooky videos. Okay, you can, y'all, you, bro, you guys can stop looking at my bear side, bro. Bitch, don't nobody want that weak ass. When I was around eight years old, I transferred to another school in the middle of the summer. Because I was so young at that time, I was able to get along with my classmates quickly. Okay. One day, all the girls left the class for their prior engagements, and the boys asked me to join them to go somewhere, saying they had found something interesting. I followed them through the paddy fields behind the school, and there was a three-story house that had been deserted a long time. Okay, first of all, why does everybody like exploring things? See, this is why a lot of people die, because they like to explore things. Would you go up to this building in the back of your school? Like, this is probably like an abandoned faculty building or something like that i have no idea bro look at it bro you know there's some ghosts in there you're gonna go right in that building <sighs> i'm turning around and going back to the school and then going home and doing my homework bad i'm a go school finished early that day so the sun was still up the exterior of the house was not too scary except for a broken window at least they're smart well, to go in the daytime here. Five of my friends and I went inside and we saw the window broken on the stairs leading up to the second floor. I thought, ah, oh, no, go back. We saw uh -huh. the window broken on the stairs leading up see to that? the second. Uh-uh, see, we don't do blood stains on this channel. What is that? That's ketchup, exactly, stop it. Floor. I thought it was just an ordinary restaurant when I saw it from outside. But as soon as I went up to the second floor, is that somebody's I house? Say that it was definitely someone's house. But the weird thing was that the inside was so cold that it was almost freezing, although it was sunny and especially hot that day. And all the furniture was standing upside down. Oh, yeah, there's a ghost in there, we bro. We then came into the main room, and one of my friends found a wallet on top of a pile of furniture. When he opened it up, there was Is a that some dough? registration card and cash inside. I suddenly got goosebumps, so I asked him to put the wallet down and turn my eyes to the living room. For now, if you guys found a wallet in an abandoned house or restaurant, would you guys take the money or would you turn it into the police? Leave it in the comments for a moment. And it was exactly that moment. It wasn't clearly visible, but there was a <laughs> Yo. silhouette in a long dress dancing in the living room she was jumping up and down swinging her arms from side to side she and just that was the creepiest scene i've ever seen before we were the only people in this house so being surprised how do you know that i looked at my friends and looked back into the living room again and there was no one there anymore guys i'm scared we should leave i told my friends and they got scared too so they followed right after me. Look at them. The moment we got out of the main room, the door suddenly slammed shut. Yo. <clears throat> oh, no. Yeah, they are old, bro. Look at Harry Potter right there, bro. Holy. What was that? You shouldn't have went exploring, buddy. To open the door, but it oh, didn't yeah, open they're dead. as if it was locked. GG's, Just boys. Just then, I realized the other one who had found the wallet was Put the wallet down. It. Put the we wallet all down. screamed and ran downstairs. As soon as we were about to go home, someone began to make a fuss about that he'd left his shoe bag upstairs. Oh my. We had no choice but to decide the people to go back inside by playing rock, paper, scissors. He didn't left his Jordan ones. Oh no, the bro. One who lost. So I that had to is... go upstairs with him. What? First of all, the person that left this stuff up there should go get it by himself. And if he have to fight a ghost, that's too bad. He gonna have to die. It's his fault he left them shoes. But as soon as we went up, we couldn't say any words and couldn't believe what we just saw. What'd you see, bro? The bedroom door was open. 
Yo, 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 yo. We couldn't even think of bringing back the shoe bag. We just had to run downstairs in a rush with a loud scream. Nah, go get that bag, bro. The next day, I came back home after playing outside with my friends as usual. Bro, what is that posture, bro? He didn't... This man right here didn't, didn't see something, bro. He didn't been through some things, bro. And that evening... I heard my friend who took the wallet was in a car accident on his way home by bicycle. <laughs> Told you to leave that wallet. Unfortunately, he was not seriously injured. However, okay. I didn't feel good about it anyway. So a few days later, we ended up heading back to the deserted house. So you better put that wallet, wallet right back where it was. And there was something inside. No, 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 no. I can tell you that there was literally nothing in the living room or on the second floor when we first went there. However, what is now it? there was a baby doll hanging on the light. I will never forget that experience my whole life. It's blinking. This is a good story. But this teaches a lesson. If you see a wallet on the ground, leave it. Unless you're going to return it straight to the police, then they're going to get haunted by ghosts. At least you won't get haunted or just leave it where you found it. See, if I was them, I wouldn't even win in the house. I would just chuck that wallet right through that window. I wouldn't win. Right through that window and leave. Turn around. Go back home. Easy. Uh, okay. Narrated by Dark Darkness Prevails. Hey, okay. told me this unforgettable story about his time in high school. I'm going to write this from his perspective. Central High School in Springfield, Missouri is haunted. I know what you're thinking. Every kid says their school is haunted. But my story is different. I Okay, show me some proof then. Central oh, you saw was it. actually the first high school in Springfield. The original brick We want that. Central was actually the first high school in Springfield. I swear, this better not be Springfield, Illinois, because I don't want no school in my state that's haunted. The original brick building with its tower still stands, but has now expanded with many new wings. We'd all heard the stories about the steam tunnels that connected the buildings and the K -K 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 -K. supposed hangs, but far more compelling was the story Yo. of the deadly principal who would whip troublesome students to death. First off, are you for real? That can't be real. First of all, you must be, I don't know what this principle is on. But if that was me, I ain't about to get whipped to death. To death? Bro, you don't really get grand slammed. Now, ain't nobody about to touch me like that. That would have happened long ago when Springfield was a small town and not the queen city of the Ozarks. We had heard the rumors, the stories that were likely exaggerated, but bro, being five feet, bro. we knew five we feet. had to do one thing, be at the school late at night. I was the one who came up with the idea that we needed to join the drama class. They were preparing a performance of South Pacific, and as okay. I explained to my group of friends, the way to get in would be to join the class as stagehands, stay to clean up after the performance, and then okay, just fair. stay. And that was what we did. Well, only a couple of us actually got onto the crew, but after everyone else had left, letting the others in was simple. We split up into three pairs, myself and Sarah, Rich and Paul, oh, no. and Michelle and Dan. Alright, here we, we go with the splitting up stuff. And this was before we had... Look at this dude right here. The only black dude. I hope you smart, my guy. <laughs> but the moon. You know what to do. You know the protocol. The familiarity of the halls allowed us to get around the school very easily. After about an hour, we began to think perhaps the stories were just stories. We began to make our way to the gymnasium. We started to compare experiences, but everyone. Uh, he got ways. No, <laughs> he hadn't seen. He chilling. Nor heard anything strange. And that's when a chair flew across the gym and slammed into the wall. What the heck? I gasped before I saw something else. Swarms of glittering little things crawling across the floor. What? They were cockroaches. 
We'd see cockroaches in the gym on occasion, but usually one or two. What? Not, not hundreds. Let's get out of here. Bro, well, sure. all them... And we hurried to the nearest... Where is that coming from? The stairway leading up to the second floor. It wasn't until we got upstairs that we realized that going upstairs probably wasn't the best course of action. But the cockroaches didn't seem to follow us there. As we stood next to... Of course, they're not that smart. Catching our... Oh, they got lucky. Then things were flying cockroaches. They would have been old. Like, nah, them things are chasing you throughout the whole building. We heard loud footsteps down the hall. All of us backed up against the wall, trying better to let run. whatever this was just pass by. Is that principal with that whip? The loud, plodding <laughs> footsteps came nearer. Our tension grew higher. Oh, screw this, Rich said, and he ran into a classroom. Sarah following quickly after him. The door slammed shut behind them. Guys, I called. I almost didn't notice that the footsteps had Ooh. stopped. Suddenly, we heard them scream and something slammed against the wall. Oh! And then something oh. else hit it. They kept on screaming. Paul pulled at the door, but the handle was stuck. You better bust Finally, down that door. A few minutes of them screaming and something hitting the wall. Bro, what is that? Who is standing at the door? All the desks and chairs were knocked over and some had clearly been hitting the walls. How they'd gone that far was a mystery, as they were pretty heavy. We found Sarah crouched in a corner, crying and babbling incoherently. The what is she doing? underneath her. Rich on the other she hand beat was stumbling toward the window. Get him! I called. And Dan ran towards Rich, grabbing him. Let me go. Just mm -mm. Let, me do. let me die. Rich cried. G guys, this is enough, I said. We need to get out of here. Michelle and Paul helped Sarah up and helped Dan this with do Rich on? our way back into the hall. As we stepped into the hallway, all at once, all the doors slammed Bro, shut. get out of there. Then they all opened again and slammed again. Screw this, Michelle yelled, and she and Paul began hurrying down the stairs, supporting Sarah between them. They doing more walking Dan down the stairs? No. And I pulled Rich after me. The cockroaches downstairs had seemingly dispersed as we made our way to the nearest exit. Pushing at the door, nothing seemed to happen. Oh, Come on, no. push it! Michelle yelled, and Paul, oh, Dan, and I struck the door together, forcing it open. We pulled Sarah and Rich outside, and as we made our way to the cars, we heard the door behind us slam shut. Dan helped Rich to his car while Michelle and Paul brought Sarah to the car they'd arrived in. As for me, I ran to my own car. As I was about to climb inside, I happened to look back at the school, looking at the tower. Oh! There, in the top room, in. was a window. That's the principal. And very clearly, I could see the outline of someone looking out the window directly Is that Slender Man? as we made our escape. It was then I realized the most horrifying thing of all, that we knew what? there was something in the high school. It knew we knew. Uh, bro, don't zoom we into it. To go back to class on Monday. Bro, that's the principal. That was a really good story, I have to admit. A haunted high school, eh? Bro, if that would have happened to me, the first sign, I would have... Guys, we need to go to the exit, straight to the exit. I don't know why they went in the classroom. They should have just, just went the other direction and escaped. Well, the cockroaches were that way, so they were kind of trapped. So... Yeah, they were kind of screwed. So I I don't know. They, they would get they got lucky at the end that the cock, the cockroaches dispersed. They got real lucky, bro. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. I really appreciate it. Let's get five likes on this video. Um, you guys show the last support in the last video. I really appreciate it. Um, roll to 400 subscribers. All right, no 400 subscribers by the end of the year. I don't know. We're gonna have to see. Good.
Make sure that principal don't get you, bud. Bye.